Slash talks about a new Guns N' Roses album, but will it ever happen? I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Well, I asked, will it take as long as Chinese Democracy, which started in 1997 and didn't come out till 2008. But that was Axl Rose by himself without Duff McKagan and Slash. This is a different matter because at least these three from Guns N' Roses' heyday are back together, of course, from that 2016 Not In This Lifetime tour. They got along for a hell of a lot of shows, going two years. In a brand new interview with Japanese music critic Maso Ito, Slash said, Axel, Duff, and myself, and guitarist Richard Furtis have all talked about there's material and stuff going on already for a new record. It's just with Guns N' Roses, you don't go, oh, there is a plan and it's gonna be like this because that's not how it works. So basically the only real answer to give is we're hoping to put a new record out and we'll just see what happens when it happens. So it's been 10 years since Chinese Democracy. We're kind of due for a new Guns N' Roses album, but when it comes to a Guns N' Roses album with Axel, Duff and Slash, well, we've been waiting a long time. That hasn't happened since 1991 in that pair of Use Your Illusion albums. That's when we're talking about new music. The Spaghetti Incident, of course, which came out after both Use Your Illusion albums was a covers project. So do you think this could actually happen? I can't stop thinking about the Chinese democracy and how long that took to get going. But that was Axel without Duff and without Slash. And I have to mention this a few times because when you look at Slash, for instance, he's been way more prolific as a, as a solo artist or members of different bands, and even Duff has as well. If you compare them to Axl Rose, who seems to be stuck on, you know, he's never happy. Chinese Democracy is known as the most expensive album to be made of all time in rock. So Duff and Slash can write the stuff, can get it going, and can put it out, can release it and be happy with it. Axl, not so much, but when you get the combination, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. When you get everything together, I mean, that's what we talk about the history of rock and roll. When these guys get together, can they make it happen? As for that tour that just wound up, not in this lifetime, Slash talked about it. He said the band was great. The entourage, the crew, the whole production was just this really great marriage of people. And we just all had a really good time. The fans were amazing. So I'm really happy that it happened. Slash and Miles Kennedy are out again. They'll be out till about August. So they're busy up until when Brian Johnson seemed to get back with ACDC. It looked like Axel was going to be singing with ACDC on a brand new album, but, but that's not looking like it's going to happen at all. Now Axel has some extra time. I think of all the people, he's the one that needs the extra time. The bottom line is at least this is at least we're heading in the right direction. They say they've got parts of music, some music, they want to do the album. They want to work together. They want to have this project. So that's a step in the right direction. Can the magic, as I mentioned, between them kind of get things going? Can they get it back? Usually that's not the case. It's very difficult for bands to do that, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt. For a band that didn't release a lot of material, they sure left a hell of a legacy. So there's something there. And as they say, if you're hungry enough, who knows what can happen? Having said that, I don't know, it'll probably take another 10 years. You know what I mean? I keep going back and forth to this, but I'm thinking, can they really get it done? Maybe Slash can kick Axel's butt a little bit. But anyone who says they know, they don't know. We'll see what happens. This is a this has been a band with a lot of toxic relationships. Someone could go flying out the window at any time. <laughs> You know, they're getting older, but yeah, it's Guns N' Roses. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. 